Yasuru, I, somebody in Wales will probably tell me off for this. I'm, I'm very impressed. Me. I'm very impressed. I haven't practiced that. I was being uh, mean, but uh, you, you were very mean. <laughs> Sorry. It's noted. Sorry. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. Yes, it's Egloisuru. How was that? In Pembrokeshire, where residents started to feel like they belong with Noah and his ark, it has been raining a lot. Yeah, people living there say the rain's been coming down in biblical proportions for the last 80 days, and many are just sick of it. Thomas Morgan is there for us this morning. Uh, is it raining now, Thomas? Morning. Well, you're both very close. It's Eglo Suru. Um, yes, it's been raining this morning. Not currently raining here, but yes, it looks like it's going to be 81 days of consistent rainfall here in Eglo Suru at the foot of the Braseli Mountains, a couple of miles away from Cardigan. Yes, the other record you speak of, the one that we know of, uh, was in our guide on the Isle of Isla in 1923, 89 days there. Councillor John Davis joins me here. John, um, not particularly a record, I suppose, the villagers are proud of. Well, one we really would wish to avoid if we could, but as you witnessed this morning, 81st day, not out, we're still in the running. Uh, hopefully it'll be the last day, but who knows? And it started on October 26th, on a day that um, a resident joined the village, I understand. Yeah, a young family which we welcomed with great joy into this village and bless them. Every day since they've been here, uh, there's been rain one end of the day or the other. But they've been of good spirit, like the whole residents really, we're a hardy bunch here in Eglisoro. And it takes more than a few showers to grind us down. But it has been, all jokes aside, quite grinding. And, um, you know, you say it's quite grinding there. You're a farmer yourself. you suffered a little bit with your sheep, haven't you? Well, most farmers I have, you know, uh, because man and animal don't take very well to endless rain. And uh, 81 days of it does leave its toll. Uh, but most of the animals are in. They usually come in, not at this early, especially the sheep. Not good for their feet, not good for the wool neither. But uh, farmers, well, we're a versatile breed of people. We do our best to accommodate the, the elements. We have to. And, is, and has anyone been uh, profiting from this heavy rain? I expect you need to ask the local trader, selling more wellingtons, more umbrellas, and more overcoats as well. Uh, some one person's loss is somebody else's gain. It's the old, old story, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, with the local pubs closing the town, there's nowhere for the villagers to drown their sorrow. But uh, at least there's one uh, dry thing in the village. Indeed, you've always got to look for that silver lining, haven't you, Thomas? Thanks very much. Let's see, it's now 7.51. Let's talk a bit more about...